Hello, my name is Doris Fiebig and this is a tutorial from SculptCookie.com. In this tutorial I will show how we can sculpt a mouse. So let's jump right into Blender. And I have prepared in the same way as for the last tutorial a cube, in this case two cubes, with examples of sculpted mouses. And so we want to start studying these mouses and see what is common for all and what is essential for sculpting. So let's zoom in in, let's say this one here, this is a more stylized one, where we can see the essential parts easily. First is that we need to know that the upper lip is composed of three muscles. Here's one muscle, here, and here. And the lower lip is always composed of two muscles, here, and here. So this is a stylized mouse, so we can see these muscles very clearly. So let's look in for in the other examples, um, the, the top ones are, are real portraits. And we see here some middle muscle and the two, and also we see a little indication of the two, uh, two lower muscles. Here also this is a um, portrait of an older woman. Here we don't see that much the middle muscle. But the others we see clearly. And so we can look at all these examples. Here's one again where we see it good. And okay, so let's go back to this example. What is also ex important in each mouse is that the lower lip forms with the area below a kind of shelf. We see this if we look from, from the side. So here's kind of a shelf structure with the border of the lower lip being um, the lowest part of the shelf structure. So let's see that this in all the others too. Here we see, see the shelf and here also. And we can rotate and see this is in every one. Okay, let's see what is next, the shelf st structure, and what is also important is that here very pronounced is, oops, I wanted to draw, is a muscle, and here is a muscle. And this makes it that here in the corner, this is not, um, The mouse is not like, like like a slit, but here the mouse is actually um, a torus shape and very narrow here. So here is a little donut shape inside. So that's also important to get right in sculpting. Let's see. Here is the mouse where we see it very clearly. The muscle from here and this little donut shape also here. It's very good to see in this female portrait, this is a male portrait, we see it very clearly here. So that is also what we need to make. Now let's um, take off the grease pencil and now we want to can start um, try sculpting a mouse with this information. Let's look at this more stylized one and try to create something similar with the main features we have just discussed. So I have here my standard cube. Um, I prepare for sculpting it by going into um, edit mode and subdivide a few times. Okay. So go out of edit mode and into sculpt mode. And I like to sculpt with a clay strips brush, which 
is enabled, uh, front face is off. And now we enable dynamic topology and collapse short edges is on. Let's make life a little easier and um, make X mirror symmetry so we only sculpt the uh, one side and the other is done with the software. Oh, I forgot to mention one important thing, I'm sorry, but let's look from a mouse at the mouse from the below. And we see all these mouse have kind of a U shape. Some more and some less, but all have this. Why is this? The mouse is not flat. The mouse has this U shape because inside are the teeth and the teeth are formed in a horseshoe shape and the mouse is wrapping around the teeth. So that is what we need to begin with. So we don't sculpt the mouse flat here on the surface, but first thing we do is we create the mound on which the mouse sits. So let's in the beginning use a larger string. So we create the mound on which our mouse is sitting and we also Right in the beginning, take care that the upper lip um, sticks usually out a little more than the lower lip. That is not in all mouses, as we see in this one here. They are about the same, so we have to look in our um, reference what is the case. But in, in most cases, it looks like here that the lower lip is more backwards. So I want to make this in this example too. So I create a mount for our mouse, about like that, and for the lower lip a little less. And now I choose a scrape brush with a smaller brush size and this border here is the lower lip Oh, the upper lip, sorry. And now I scrape, oops, scrape in roughly where the top border is, and to emphasis, make it something like that. And I create the flat above the lips, just a flat in the moment, and no. Uh, indent. We can put this detail later. So just, just like that. Okay, now we care take care of our lower lip. Um, uh, more, and we see when we look here, the lower lip is the bottom part is you sticks usually out most or almost most. Here, here it's very poor. That is quite unusual mass here. So we add more mass here. Okay, and now we cut in a little with a crease brush to define the separation. And we remember that we have said in the corners of the mouse is this donut shape, so that we cut in here a little more so that the lower lip tucks under the upper lip. Okay, so we zoom in a little more and now we add already the muscles we spoke about. The muscle here in the middle. We first de define everything roughly and then we go over and smooth and refine everything. The muscle is on the side and now the two muscles in the lower lip will make a little indent and then add material here. Not so much here on the side. So 
that the lower border sticks out, out most essentially. Okay, now we see in the way we started our mouse, we already have created this shaft structure, structure here. Now I drop the strength a little. We can refine this now this by defining more clearly the line of the lower lip. Let's define more clearly the line of the upper lip and here the indent. Yes, something like that. That's even less strength. We see we don't have enough mass for our muscles, so we add more material. Now it comes, see? And we need more material on the lower lip. Yes, okay. It still, it still look, looks a little odd, but we can clean up everything and the essential is there. Now we spoke about this muscle here on the side. We haven't added. We just had added the hole. So we stroke around this hole and create a more or less pronounced um, donut shape here. And this blends into the side here. Okay. Now let's look here again at the mouse. We see every mouse has here an indent. This is also very individual how strongly this is. Here is almost nothing to see. That is a real portrait. This is a fun portrait. Here is it. Also here is it. And here is again almost nothing. Here is it to see that the top ones are real portraits. Okay, so we put in our mouse a little of this, and about here would start the chin. Let's indicate just, just a little bit. Okay, so we have the basics done, and now we can just clean up a little and put a little more details and then we are done. Okay, go even a little less, something like that. And now I clean up a little. I want to make emphasis like this in this mouse here. A little more this M shape here. Yes, you see it's an M shape of the lower lip, very exaggerated. And I want to have it here a little more clearly too. Okay, muscle is not big enough yet. Okay, now that's good. And make transition again. Cut once more our border between the lips. Now I have a closed mouse. Okay, and now we need to clean up the transitions and we are done. So erase here a little lower lip tucks under the upper lip. And now for a sculpture it is good to emphasize the lower um, border. So I add a little more with a smaller brush size material right at the border, make it a little stronger, right here at the border, and remove a little material just above this line I just drew. Now again a little less stronger and cleaning up by cleaning up the transitions, you see? So now we have here a mouse where the separation between the two lips is very um, clear, clearly visible. And we now 
finish this was too deep usually it's not that deep as I created here this is a small indent and here on top would be the nose and clean up the sides here and because this is a tutorial mouse we make here the muscle as in this example more visible so if we want to make it very clear we can cut in here just a little bit with a crease brush and then add from the other side a little material so this blends in and shows exactly how this muscle works and this is our mouse showing all the main features the u curve the shelf structure the five muscles of the lips and the important muscle here which creates the donut shape this finishes the tutorial thank you for watching and i appreciate you watching and i hope you learned something